I would not, to be honest, if I say here is the answer, I'm lying. Mm. So the truth is, I don't know how I got here. <laughs> and I give God the glory that I've been here now for the last six years. So I'm not going to, to wet the stick and say, this is what happened. Mm. Because up to now, we don't have any major investor. Wow. Right? And we're constantly looking for investment. So we don't have any investor. We're just more or less running based on what we can achieve, based on us running back to do some more job, more project, executed, and then come back and pay the bills. We don't have an investor. I'm not like the normal TV station that would say, mm. well, we have millions. If I have the millions, maybe when I started, probably the story would be different. Mm. So the, 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 the real picture is when you have an idea, you have to be the prime pusher. Yeah, and of course, at the end of the day, if that project did not become real, for all those that have seen you struggling, trying yes. to put it together, we say, well, we definitely saw them working hard on the project. Mm. And if it succeed, then they will write as well and say, well, we doubted them when they were talking about it, but can you believe it? Mm. That is the guy yeah. now. While at the same time, if the resources is not there, there's nothing really one can do. Mm. So you just have to find something that can keep you going. And I think that is the position where we are, that we can say, okay, we've been here for the last six years. We're still broadcasting. Uh, many others have come and gone. That, but the, the, the fight is, when people talk about credit crunch, I said, we have always been in credit crunch for the last six years. So mm. the picture is, now you know what a credit crunch <laughs> is, right? Yeah. So we now maybe feel that we have more people who mm know what struggling is all about. Mm. But nevertheless, we are still struggling. And what are we selling? We're selling a product that is not easy to be accepted, which is the word B. Even though we have to drop our B from what you think it is to yeah. say we are bright. Mm. Bright entertainment, entertainment. network. Yes. In the sense that we don't want to be fighting with a lot of B, 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 B. Mm. No, let us think we are bright. And we have been going on, and representation has been made to many organizations here who have tapped into our resources, our reach, as a TV station, and what they know we can deliver. Mm. Uh, but hopefully, our prayer is, just like any project that wants to succeed, to turn around the challenges to become positive, to become profitable, to become successful, more than what we are talking about or writing about. So uh, putting that together, one should not throw away the project or whatever idea they have. Mm. But the fact is, you have to drive it. Mm. If you sit down and say, well, let me calculate how much yes. I've spent on this project since day one, you'll find probably another hundred thing that you can use that money for or that time for that you think will have yield. Mm. Uh, but as I said, you don't control your destiny. That's you can true. only put it, follow your destiny, but you do not control it. Mm. So uh, challenges are always there. Uh, it's just for... I think it's for the project, the idea to overcome where necessary. And as I said, there are things that you just can't control, so you just have to follow. So uh, we're just going to one of the questions we, we got from some of our fans, um, from Toshmag. Uh, this is um, from Switzerland, Stephen Swash. Um, she wants to know some interesting things, so I'll throw the question straight away to the CEO of, um, of um, Ben TV. So um, she wants to know how you go into the, where did you get the idea for the Olympics and projects idea from? Because it's a big project. I mean, Olympics, we're talking about a lot of sports. And though she's not African or Nigerian, but yeah. I think, I don't know where she knew about it. But um, she just wants to know, what gave you that, that zeal and bite to get into something like that? I think we were actually abroad and watching the TV with my children and just seeing how the whole thing was going and everybody getting excited. And then I... Uh, Nigeria was yet to be featured, you know. Until you get to the track and feel before Nigeria probably be featured. And, but then when people of my skin color win something, I say, oh, uh, I bet maybe their parents, grandparents <laughs> are from Nigeria. Mm. And then, so as we continue watching, when somebody wins something, my children will say, oh, I bet he's a Nigerian. So they just keep doing, I bet he's a Nigerian, I bet he's a Nigerian. <laughs> so, but then uh, watching Bolt mm. running those amazing races, uh, winning those, in those winning time, 
performance by which every other sprinter in the past and in the future will be measured. Look at him, 15 meters out, his hands are out, he's decelerating, pumping, pounding his chest, and still breaks the world record. I think he possibly, Tom and Lewis, threw away a nine. <laughs> Nobody is safe from a hug. You begin to wonder, I say, wow, uh, that's just about three million people in that country. Mm. And then you watch the aftermath, and you watch the whole country celebrating. Everybody yes. is now talk, talking about Jamaica and Jamaica and Jamaica. And then uh, we have, in my country, 140 million people. And we are yet to be featured. And I was going through the table, and we're yet to be featured. And no there problems. are other African countries already on top of the ladder, winning gold. Well, what is going on? Uh, of course, we know what is going on. But the best thing we can do is, London is where you will find more Nigerians than any other country mm, in the that's world. True. So this is really our second home. Mm. This is really another state in Nigeria, technically by the distance. Okay. Right? Are we coming here now to Fombo? Mm. That is really what start to come through my mind. Uh, come on, guys. We shouldn't come to London. <laughs> uh, probably even around that time, they will find out more ministries more organization closing down operation in Nigeria and transferring <laughs> all the operational duties to London to say, mm. I'm just around the corner, email me, call me, I'll be in London for that period. Mm. Shall we prepare six months at a time because it's home, London is home, That's true. or should we start planning now before the time? Well, the best thing that we can do maybe is start planning now. And how do we do that? Well, the national sport is there, that is there, but the, under the seven-point agenda of the present administration, we'll be talking about how the private sector can participate in doing something. And the best thing I thought was, let me quickly roll this thing out. Mm. Begin to sensitize people's mind to say, Nigeria, if we begin to put our academy together now, find the best athletes in whatever field it is, put them in this academy, there's a possibility within the next two years, somebody will come and win mm. medal yeah. in what, any sport. There are more sport in the Olympics that's, anyway. So true. we just need one, and the Nigerian national anthem can go around the world. Mm. So it's for the sake of Nigeria. Yes. It's for the sake of we come here and win something that I thought the project would be successful. Okay. But then, likewise, I hope that people who are interested in supporting Nigeria can participate in the Nigeria Olympic project. So do you have a website? Um, I know you have a website. Yes. Just specifically on this uh, I think it's nigeriaolympic 2012com Calm. Okay. Yeah, www.nigerolympic2012. Uh, been that the 2012 is the next one. Yes. And then thereafter, based on the success of the academy, then we'll look for the next one. But the fact as well is, it's not just about athletics. It, uh, it, the, the, I'm looking at it that it can even become a, a serious academy. Mm -hmm. Because when you look at here, the people who are winning, win, for example, the tennis players, yes. they've been trained by the government, they're supported. But then when they win, yeah. this big money they win, yes. they won outside, they don't bring it back. So mm -hmm. in fact, through the academy, I'm looking forward by way, people who are in the academy, they gain experience and they are open, be it tennis, be it anything, you bring them out. Yeah. If they participate, there are appearance fee. That's true. Right? So from there, they take this and then they put some percentage into the academy mm -hmm. until to they get to the stage well. that they leave the academy. Mm -hmm. But the fact is, you can now look at people who train in Lagos and they, after training you have to work home and then all this kind of mm. unemployment can be, the youth can be re-energized doing something, yeah. create more competition. And then they know that we are actually killing our own sport in Nigeria, for example, across Africa. Yes. I have no qualms about showcasing something good. But then, if the Premiership Night is all the, 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 the sporting activity being shown in Nigeria, you're killing the local That's sport true. activities across Africa. Mm, across right? Africa. And then you're making the bigger club get, get more money. Mm. Because the, the ride you're buying, you're sending it here. Yes. I bring in quite a lot of money constantly in terms of the business that we, we do from Africa mm. than I make in this country.